particularly the indiscriminate shelling of civilians. We call for an immediate de-escalation of violence, the protection of civilians, unimpeded humanitarian access, and for tensions to be resolved peacefully through dialogue. Finally, I want to talk about the drought and the potential for famine again in Somalia. Famine is the ultimate failure of the international community. In a world abundant with food, entire communities should never have to starve to death. 2022, the in Lasanod town, Seoul region, the fighting that broke out on the 6th of February continues and has led to increased humanitarian need. Ladies and gentlemen, in the northern Somalia region, we remain appalled by and, and condemn the aggression against the people of Las Anot, which have caused immeasurable human suffering, loss of life, and larger civilian displacement. President Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud has called to put an immediate, to the an immediate end to the hostilities and to negotiate a lasting ceasefire. Federal Government of Somalia stands ready to create the condition for the start of an inclusive Somali-owned national dialogue to resolve the conflict and thus creating the foundation for peace and stability throughout the country. Federal Government of Somalia, its duty, its underlines its duty to protect the Somali population and the responsibility to continue to provide substantial ongoing humanitarian support to those affected by the conflict in Las Anot, in particular to the women and children. We call international, our international partners to assist and immediately provide providing for safe, rapid, and unimpeded humanitarian access and make enabling humanitarian aid to be delivered to Las Anot and Seoul region population. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, What's happening in Las Ano today is a crime against humanity and it's against the value of the Somali people. In that regard, there can be no impunity of such crimes of indiscriminate attack on civilians and civilian infrastructures. Furthermore, the federal government of Somalia is committed to investigate and hold the perpetrators <coughs> accountable. I thank you, Madam President.